captive now uh, in Wales. Uh, we're looking at pictures uh, there from Cardiff where we're expecting the Prime Minister of Wales, Mark Drakeford, Drakeford I beg your pardon, to hold uh, a news conference uh, on the latest situation there. Let's listen in. Today, uh, at the start of a new working week, I just wanted to <coughs> on the enormous challenges which coronavirus has posed to every one of us here in Wales. Uh, in a space of a very few weeks, uh, the lives of all Welsh citizens have changed dramatically. Schools and businesses have closed. Most of us are working at home or staying at home and outside our roads or streets or parks are quiet in a way that we would never normally expect or recognise. And I want to begin by thanking everyone here in Wales for the help and patience that people have shown as we have all had to get used to the new strict rules that have been introduced and all of which are designed to slow the spread of the virus and in that way to save lives. These are rules that will help to protect our NHS so that it is there when it is most needed and will mean that more people at the end of this will be alive than otherwise would have been. And across Wales, the response of Welsh citizens has been amazing. Uh, enormous numbers of people coming forward to offer help in getting us through the difficult days ahead. Uh, and as well as thanking them, I want, of course, to thank all of those who work in our health and social care services for the hard work which they do in what are very challenging and difficult circumstances. We ask a lot of those people who work in that part of the public service, and we know that we will be asking even more of them in the days and weeks ahead. Just gair o ddiolchi, bob un o onolchi, sy'n gweithio yn y gwasanaeth iechyd, yn gofal yn y gymuned, am popeth chi'n wedi wneud, yn barod ac am popeth sydd i ddod, diolch o galon i chi gyd. Now the pace at which the coronavirus pandemic is affecting our economy is extraordinary. And now more than ever, government needs to do everything we can to support businesses here in Wales. That is why throughout last week, my cabinet colleagues and I worked to reprioritize government's budget. And we've done that to free up as much funding as possible to ensure that Welsh public services and Welsh businesses have all the support that we can offer them. And the result of that reprioritization exercise is that we have a 1.1 billion pound fighting <coughs> fund to respond to those specific Welsh needs. And today I'm able to announce that we have created a 500 million pounds economy crisis fund to provide extra support for businesses, charities and social enterprises in Wales. This fund will help businesses to survive the coronavirus challenge so that they are ready when we come out the other side of this to go on providing jobs and futures here in Wales. And this help is over and above the support schemes already announced by the Chancellor of the Exchequer. The fund will help those firms who are having to go into hibernation all those firms which need cash flow support to mm. adapt to new ways of working during the pandemic. There are two main elements to the fund. First of all, the Development Bank for Wales will have an injection of £100 million, and that will be available to companies experiencing cash flow problems as a result of the pandemic. It will provide loans of between £5,000 and £250,000 at a minimal level of interest. Now, that fund is already up uh, and working through the Development mm. Bank uh, for Wales and will be taking applications during this week. 
Then there is a 400 million pounds emergency pot. That will provide 10,000 pounds in grants for micro businesses uh, with up to nine employees. These are businesses which weren't eligible for the business grants we announced on March the 18th. And this will be new money available to that sector of the Welsh economy. Then that £400 million will support grants of up to £100,000 for small and medium-sized firms with between 10 and, 100, and 250 employees. And thirdly, there will be support from that fund for larger Welsh headquartered companies which are of critical social or economic importance to Wales. It is a criteria-led fund. Businesses will have to apply for it. They'll have to meet the criteria and support through those three other elements of the fund will come on screen during uh, April. OK, we'll leave the First Minister of Wales there, uh, Mark Braford, but announcing a £1.1 billion uh, fighting fund to respond uh, to the needs of Wales. He said he'd created a £500 million economy crisis fund to provide extra support for businesses uh, and charities in Wales over and above the schemes already announced uh, by the government. I just want to bring you a couple of lines that are breaking here uh, at the BBC uh, to tell you about. One is about Prince Charles. Uh, Prince Charles, we understand, is now out of self-isolation. Uh, he spent seven days, you may remember, in self-isolation uh, following those uh, government guidelines. That was after experiencing uh, symptoms of coronavirus. But now Clarence House has said that Prince Charles is out of isolation. Uh, I also want to bring you some other news about the government. Just bear with me. Uh, my computer has... Uh, just decided to take a bit of a break. Uh, uh, I can repeat that news, though, that Prince Charles is out of self-isolation and in good health, uh, his spokesman uh, has said. Um, other news I had hoped to bring you about another government minister who uh, has been experiencing uh, coronavirus uh, symptoms. Sorry, my computer has uh, chosen this.